Okay, so today we're going to look at some maths. Um, it's the mass of this equation, a times w plus b times 1 minus w. Um, this equation is used in computer graphics all over the place. It's um, a basic operation of a composite. Uh, but today we're going to look at using it to blend between two positions here, a and b. Um, so I've got a a maths op here, uh, which I'm going to show you how to set up later. And by moving the slider, the weight slider, I can animate um, the position between these two points. Um, I've got these three transform nodes here. I've got transform A, and I can move that around. I can move transform B around, and the blue cross there maintains this proportional position. Um, I can type in a minus value to move it out further. So it basically looks as a line between these two points and extends it. Um, and it has a, a few neat little applications. I use it a bit to fix difficult tracks. Um, so if I can find A and B, I can guess using this where um, this final point should be, even if there's no actual point in the scene actually to track. So if I want to put a point, I want to attach something to this point, I can guess where the position is based on any other points in the scene. And it's kind of like a poor man's planar tracker. So it's a bit nicer than just using an offset from B, because um, this distance here, from there to there is proportional to this length, so as um, as that changes, that's proportional as well. So if things are in, in perspective, then um, you'll get a nice little perspective shift. It's not perfect perfect perspective, but it will do. Um, if you know why it's not perfect perspective, then um, yeah, you can probably do the maths yourself. Anyway, so we're going to go through a few things. We're going to look at um, expressions inside um, Fusion and we're also going to look at um, some a nice little script to create this little weight function here. So I've got a new comp and I'm just going to start some placing some reference objects in so just taking an ellipse and a background node maybe a dot let's fit that in the screen a bit smaller. I'm going to drag in some transform nodes, one, two, three, and another background node, and I'm going to make that background white. I'll make this all up. So I'm going to press F2, I'm going to rename this transform node, and I'm going to call it point A. Rename that one point B. And I guess I also rename this one point C. Okay. Have a look at the results. There we go. So we got point A, move around there, point B like that, and then point C in the middle. So in fact, let's just change the color of point C because we can. Okay, so the first thing to do is uh, we're going to add a user control to this transform node here. So I'm going to click on the transform node and right click there. So right click and I'm going to choose script, user controls, and brings up this dialog. We have a new control called weight, it's going to be a number type, and it's going to go on the controls tab page which is this one just the one normal one here 
and these default attributes are okay, so it's going to be a slider control. Uh, the basic range is going to be 0 to 0, and we can have some big numbers if we want them. Okay. And so there's our slider control. It doesn't do anything at the moment. And then we're going to do some math. So we're going to add an expression into here to control the center point. So if we just take that and then type in equals, that will activate a, an expression, which is a point expression. And we can give it type in values by hand. So we can have naught, I say 0 0.5, which look that over there, or 0 0.5 and 0 0.5, which will stick it in the middle. And um, we can also do some maths with some other points. So I click on this one and then this one, control click. We can use uh, the plus sign to connect things together using uh, scripts. So I can use the center of point A. And oops, I must delete that. So I can drag and all write the scripts for the center of point A. So we've got point A dot center. So now um, point C will follow point A around. So if I click on point A's attribute, and I'll drag it around, we'll drag this point C around with it. If I want the um, middle point of the two, I can type in by hand a, um, we have point A center, shift, point B center, Divide that by two, and now we have the middle of these two points A and B. Like that. And so we're going to do this weighted average function. Uh, we're using this weight control here. So, uh, and the mass for it is point A times um, weight. And then one minus weight of that part. So when um, weight is zero, then uh, we have point A times zero, point A center times zero, which is zero and point B times 1 minus 0, so point B times 1. So when weight is 0, you just get the point B transform. And when weight is 1, we have A times 1, which is A, and 1 minus 1 is 0, so we have B times 0, which is 0. So we just get point A when the weight is 1. So, And then we can blend between the two like that. It's very much like, um, like an alpha, in fact has the same maths as an alpha channel. Um, and that's really how it works, all there is to it really. Um, I've used it, you can use this equation for all kinds of little rigging tricks um, in 3D, you can do it for little tricks in 2D. Um, as I said before, I use it for sort of tracking fixes, it's like a poor man's planar tracker. And there you go, there's a bit of basic maths for you.